there are a number of buttons and tools available in whatever viewpoint you are working in. And there's that information. Remember, we have the name of the data set, X, Y, and Z coordinates. We see the size of the particular frame and then how long it took to render. You notice when we move anything, we, we see changes in those numbers. In the left, we have the data selection panel, the same panel that comes up when you first open the app, and it lists all the data sets that are available. You click on one and go to it. Then the data sets are all DICOM format, so the DICOM info panel gives you the detailed information about uh, the DICOM. We have measurement tools. There are several of them. This one is a two-point measurement tool. Okay, so notice we click on a spot. We click on the next spot and there's a measurement. We can take these measurements in either window, but the measurement shows up in both windows as if the data set or the lung were transparent. This is a very useful tool at times, especially when we're looking at small spaces and we want a good estimate of the size. Notice the tool is active as long as the button is clicked. It's dark gray. We turn it off and the measurements go away. Sometimes we want a three-point measurement. We click and click, and then there's the third measurement. Same, we turn it off to, to delete the measurements. Then there's the multipoint measurement. There are times when we want um, to measure something that's not a straight line. We want to get a better idea of uh, exactly or very close to the distance. And we can just click point to point to point to point. It gives us an overall measurement. We could go into an even smaller space and work in more detail if we wanted to. So that gives us a good idea of measurements of things that aren't straight lines. So we turn that one off as well. Now this is the pick first camera position button. Often we might want to go straight to a particular spot. We want to be familiar as possible with the tool because we go into some of these small areas uh, like this. This is a relatively small area. We're going to click the button to turn it on. Then we'll click and it takes us in. Now we're, we're in that area, we turn the button off because uh, otherwise every time you click it will change the position of the camera. We're in a small spot and what happens occasionally in a, well often in a small spot is the camera is uh, facing in a position you, you can't quite tell exactly where you are. You can try a variety of uh, different uh, modes or out options to how you want to render that. Uh, but eventually what you're going to have to do is move the camera and see if you can uh, find that spot. And in moving the camera, you can move it forward and backwards. You can rotate it. Uh, here we're looking at a very fine rendering. And, but once you move the camera and get to the right view, there it is. So this is an important consideration. 
but we're in the we're in the same area. Now we can track where this first camera, first uh, uh, 3D first person camera is, and that's very useful, and it's useful in all the various uh, views in the other window, because as you move that first person camera, uh, the the view and the slices uh, in the other window will move with you. And then, you know, once we're there, there are things that we can do depending on what you're looking for. Measurements and those kind of use of those tools. Now you can stop tracking the first camera, uh, person camera, by clicking the button off. So notice we have these markers that are in this data set. Some of them are labeled, as you can see. These have already been identified and curated. But now we turn on Center on Marker. And then that will, that will move the view to where that marker is. And uh, now we open the marker panel. We have 16 of these already marked, uh, curated. They're labeled. Particularly if you have your own data sets, this is a way for you to curate the important features and points inside your data set. We'll close that window now. We plan to make the markers uh, a little easier to see by making them solid and maybe a brighter color, but these are extremely useful and uh, really uh, a great way to annotate and curate uh, features inside uh, your data sets. So these are the basic uses of uh, tools and buttons. The main thing is that you, you become familiar with these, you work with them to highlight the features that are important to you, the, the features that you're looking for. So this is just a general overview. Please give us your feedback on how it feels to use the tools and you, how useful they are. And uh, we really hope that you will get very comfortable in using them, and especially in your own data sets.